Show, show. How are you guys doing? So, somebody asked me, can you go straight into freelance, freelance web development, freelance web design, uh, when you're moving from a totally unrelated career into freelance? So I have somebody who is an accountant and they want to switch careers up, so they want to know if they have to go from accounting, get a job as a full-time web designer somewhere, and then they can freelance. Or can they go straight into freelancing? I'm going to answer that question. So the short answer is yes, you can definitely go straight into freelance from whatever career you happen to be in now. In fact, it's what I recommend. If you have a job in whatever profession it happens to be, in this case, he's an accountant, and you're making money, it's well paid, it would be foolish, in my opinion, based on my experience, it would be foolish for you to drop your current career and to just jump into the new career, in this case, web development, uh, without having giving yourself a chance, A, to develop the skills and to develop the business. Any new career, any new business will have a little bit of, of a, a startup time, a lag time. It's it's kind of like a universal principle that I've noticed over the years, over the decades now. So you have to account for that. So yeah, 100%, you should uh, give yourself a nice runway to be able to, to transition into the new career so you do cautiously and properly. The worst thing you can do for yourself is to find yourself in a situation where uh, you're desperate for money because you dropped your current job thinking that you're going to start making money right away in your new profession, your new job, whether you're freelancing or whatnot. That's just a bad way to go. So to recap, yeah, you can definitely go from career A, in this case accounting, and jump right into freelance without having to work for another company. Um, I never worked for a company and that's what I did. I sold my first business and then I had some coding skills back in the early 90s. So I just started with simple projects. You start with projects that you can handle and you build up from there. The cool thing about this particular individual, he's an accountant, so he has a professional background, he understands money, he understands how to conduct himself in a professional context. That's one of the biggest challenges actually to, to people new into development. A lot of people are younger, so they've never worked in a professional environment before. So it's a big part of their training, in fact. It's not so much technical, it's professional. So if you have a professional background, whether it be accounting, legal, or paralegal or whatever, you know, a, a manager at Walmart, doesn't really matter. Uh, if you have a professional background, those professional skills are a big part of the equation, especially when you're getting into freelance. So let me end this video with a couple of tips about freelancing in general. Freelancing means you are free. You are free to make as much money as you can. You're free to work when you want. You're free to choose the type of clients you work with. You're free to choose the type of projects you work on. But you're also free to fail. You're also free to find yourself in poverty. So you have to approach the freelance lifestyle properly and you can do very, very well. Ask anybody who sticks it out and pursues a freelance career. They almost always have zero regrets because all those personal lifestyle freedoms and the potential earning freedoms are uh, worth much more than the uh, illusion the illusion of security that you get working at a company. It is an illusion because as we've seen recently, well, in 2023, 2024, it's starting a little bit, we're seeing a lot of the big tech giants, they're laying off people left, right, and center. I've addressed this in other videos. The whole illusion that you're, you have job security working for a large corporation, it's exactly that. It's an illusion. This is a relic of the 1950s and 60s where companies were so desperate for employees after the war, after the World War, that people in, in those days, you would find a good job, you work there for life, you retire, you get your, uh, your golden uh, watch or your golden clock. I've actually seen somebody get a golden clock and uh, Bob Gerardo, those days are over. The only freedom that you have today is personal financial freedom, which comes from A, upping your skill set, B, uh, becoming financially aware and uh, wise. That's why I created another channel, the Uncle Steph channel, specifically about personal finance, investment, and business. Because even if you make a ton of money as a freelancer or as an employee, whatever, uh, if you don't know, if you don't understand money and how to properly uh, manage money, you're going to be in a bad situation. 
So yeah, financial freedom and freedom comes from financial autonomy. And I'm going to fill this in financial uh, health. Uh, you want to take a charge of your health and you want to become a healthy individual because uh, even if you have billions of dollars, if you're in pain or you're really out of shape or you're sick, all that money is worthless. So take uh, control of your financial health, your mental health, and your physical health, and you'll be doing well. Anyway, I know I went off on one of my tangents, but it's all part of the package, man. I think a lot of people are jumping into freelancing because they realize the old paradigms of working for a large corporation, being dependent on them is antiquated. People are starting to see this more and more and more, and they see that real freedom comes with personal responsibility, taking control of your financial health, except in your personal health as well. My name is Steph, so people call me Uncle Steph. I mentor people in software development, coding, freelancing, and so many other things. You can check your look. You can check your look. You can take a look below at UncleSteph.com. Uh, the program is continuously evolving and expanding based on the needs of the group. You're welcome to take a look and um, yeah, just check in every now and then. You'll see that as I add new things and as things uh, progress, it's going to become more and more useful as the community builds out. Anyway, we'll talk soon.